Okay, so you really like wine, but you've got no idea. People ask me, Daryl, how's wine made? We've got no idea. So wine always comes from grapes. So we need grapes, that's number one. As the grapes ripen on the vine, and the grape accumulates sugar, and it accumulates flavor, and the acid level goes down to a level that's palatable. So then the winemaker decides what's the right time to pick those grapes, and he picks them at the right time that's got the right flavor and the right sweetness. The important thing about the sweetness is that we know as winemakers that um, we measure it in a thing called bricks, and we know that for every 1.8 bricks, we're gonna get 1% alcohol in the wine. So the winemaker can really tune in on how much alcohol he wants in his wine by picking at a certain sugar level of the grapes. So we pick the grapes at a sugar level. We already know the alcohol in the wine that it's gonna end up, and for wine, we want somewhere between 9% and 16% alcohol. Um, so then what we do is we pick the grapes, we squash the grapes to get the juice out of it. And for white wines, we just ferment the juice. Fermenting the juice means we add yeast to it. And yeast consumes the juice, converts the sugar in the juice into alcohol, and we end up with wine. We do that in a tank. With red grapes, and all the color and flavor, the color and flavor that, see the red color, you know, you get a red grape on the vine and you squash it and white juice comes out of it. So to make a red wine, we get the juice and again, the white wine, we keep the juice separate, but with the red wine, we put the juice back in contact with the skins of the grape and we ferment the juice for about seven days on the skins and every day it extracts more color and more color and more color. And as the yeast consumes, as the yeast consumes the sugar, it builds up little bits of alcohol, and the more alcohol we get, the more extraction we get, and the more color and the more tannin, and then we get a red wine after seven days. It's gone from clear juice to beautiful red, and um, the white wines that we made, we generally put them in a stainless steel tank because we want to keep the freshness of the fruit, and then a red wine, once it's made, um, after it's finished fermentation, we go and put it in a barrel, and I'm sitting on a barrel. Really, don't do this at home because I'm sitting on the bunghole, um, but, um, we put the red wine in the barrel and then that helps to soften the tannins that have come out of the grapes. And after about a year, year and a half, then we bottle that red wine. And that's simply a simple process, but we have a hell of a lot of fun doing it, I tell you. And the better pleasure comes when you start drinking it. <laughs> ah, I know this red wine was made about 18 months, two years ago, and it's bloody delicious. <laughs>